Yeah, how old are you, bro? 102. I was gonna say, it couldn't be any less than 100. <laughs> Les has already been introduced on the channel, uh, but since we're introducing everybody else, this is Les Pearson, also known as Leslie, I think on your passport, right? <laughs> I don't know why your mom hated you. <laughs> <laughs> how did you How did you get into this? By accident. By accident? <laughs> did you? No, I didn't. Know. <laughs> well, do you want to know how I got into it? Yeah. Well, basically, I, I started working in motocross, and my buddy was working in road racing, and there was no money in motocross, so I switched over to road racing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's a smart move. <laughs> So my name is Bruno, I'm 30 years old, born in 1993, I'm single as f girls, and I'm a tire guy. Rubber is all me. Why? Who you so are. people know who you are. Uh, if you're an admittance, I'm f***ing famous, you know? <laughs> no? Let's hear it, let's hear it. Who are you? Hey, I'm Alex. <laughs> Mechanic from Garrett. Yeah. Interesting or racing? Yeah, why are you interested? Why are you a mechanic? Why you... I love it. Love the bikes, love the power, love the engineering. To be here with the guys. Most of the mechanics are friends. Except not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> and for sure not all the riders. <laughs> My name is pa Paolo Piazza. I organize all the spare parts and all the shipments for the material. In the beginning, I am very old. My first uh, race was uh, 1986. And uh, in my life, I make in this uh, sport all the jobs. Uh, mechanic, uh, truck driver, technician, make engines in the two-stroke, four-stroke, MotoGP. But uh, for me, it's, uh, it's my life and I remain here. And uh, for look, the new generation of rider, for example, uh, how our new rider, Garrett, is, uh, I like him because sometimes he's uh, faster, he's uh, consistent. I think it's possible with him to have good performance in the future. What's up guys, this is Garrett Gerloff and be sure to watch World Superbike this Sunday on CNBC. First and foremost, big thank you to BMW Group Australia for this pretty sick rental car. I didn't even know that BMW made cars until today. I thought they were just doing bikes and stuff, but yeah, pretty not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> today was an interesting day. The wind was going the complete opposite direction as it was uh, on the Monday Tuesday test. So like, it, the entire it felt like I showed up at a different track. So I struggled this morning. Not gonna lie. Um, we only used one set of tires, so that was kind of a positive. We, we saved the set, which was good. Race pace, eh, you know, it's not exactly what I would like it to be, but we're getting there. We're, we're uh, you know, we're making progress and stuff. So big thanks to the boys for, uh, for all their hard work today. And yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. Things up, it's cold, so. so if I swore. <laughs> well, this ad sensor bleeps. French, ooh la la. The, I'm scared that there is baby inside, and like it's a hundred of babies. Oh, oh sh Oh, dude, that thing's. Oh, oh it's coming inside! <laughs> the food, man. We'll leave them there for later. We'll come back later. <laughs> Thank you so much, thank yeah, you. No worries, see ya. Saturday, first race day on the Beamer. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, so it's a bit of that, but feeling good. Cloudy today, should have a bit more grip. That should help all of us. Hopefully it helps us the most though. <laughs>
Yeah, it's, it's crazy how how fast everybody's going this year and how close things are. Because last year I did uh, 30.7 and I qualified P6, and this year I go three tenths faster. I qualified P16. It's like, yeah, it's just close. Everybody's going fast, and I mean it is frustrating for sure. I don't want to be in 16th place. It's, yeah, it's uh, I'm frustrated a bit, but we got the race coming up next, and uh, I think we have good, I think we have good race setup, but. Yeah, we'll have to just wait and see. I'm gonna try to do my best, work my way forward, and have a decent race. Fat ass just ripped the pants. Ugh. All right. Oh, just ripped again. Good start to the day. Last day at least. Ugh. Well, as you can see, it is a beautiful day outside, which is not the case for yesterday's race. So yeah, went to race one with uh, no wet weather practice here, but uh, same for everybody. And man, it was not easy starting from 16th on the grid. I mean, I'm still disappointed about qualifying, even though, like I said earlier. It's the fastest I've ever been at Phillip Island. Like, it's just crazy how stacked it is this year. I feel, I feel like I got a decent start. I feel like I was able to get off the line pretty good. But as soon as we started getting to second, third gear, the spray coming off the all the bikes in front of me, which were a lot, uh, the spray was ridiculous. Like, I couldn't see, I could barely see the red lights that were in front of me, let alone the, the full bike and the, the people sitting on top of them. It wasn't for anything to do with my HJC or anything. It's just the spray coming off the track was insane. Uh, once the field kind of thinned out a little bit, got a bit easier and was able to finally, like, you know, feel like I had some grip. We used a harder rain tire, so took a couple laps for that to come in nice. But then once it did, I felt, uh, I felt really good and was able to, to go faster and catch some guys and, you know, in the end, made some passes and got up to, to 10th. So, I mean, nothing to really write home about, I guess. It's, but all in all, I mean, I am happy to be in the top 10. I know that was the, the team's goal. So it's nice to be able to, to do that for them. But, you know, I, I definitely want more and we'll see what we can do today. Good morning. I have to say the word of the week is probably humbled. Might be a decent word. Man, I feel like I feel like the bike has so much potential. And I mean, the, the power of the thing is just, it's so good. I, uh, I think I hit 331 today, K an hour. So like 206 miles an hour is ridiculous. Like, it's got a ton of potential. I know it. it's just, just maybe, maybe things just aren't meshing together as nice as, as it should be. Yeah, anyway. It was a nice battle between the BMW boys, but way too far back for sure. Well, we'll put our heads together and see if we can't come up with anything for, uh, for Indonesia. I decided to take an helicopter ride. Cheers. Enjoy your time, man. But to live free.
the show. Rotate me back <laughs> to my front door. All right, Cedric. People want to know what's it what's it like being a being a cowboy out in these parts. In the paddocks. Yeah. yeah. It's not easy every day, you know. I'm like the only one here, so everybody get it. I miss my country, you know, all my fields. Okay. So you would say you're a loner? I'd say so. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Recon, you better get that fing camera off me, please. Hey, good day. I'm, I'm Danny. I'm an artist. I've drawn all these faces from this year's World Superbikes. I'm drawing these caricatures the way I see people. So if I see something funny on them, they've got big ears, I'll draw them big ears. If they have a funny beard, I'll draw them a funny beard. I'm particularly proud of Garrett and Loris. Well, it's such a fun way to draw. Actually, I wanted to draw Garrett small. Just to piss him off to make him smaller, like uh, usually Americans are being seen very big and vultures. But I changed my mind and go, Gareth, he's a, he's a statue out there. He needs to be seen. Teammate, I thought I'd make him smaller. We'll see how it turns out in the races. Good luck with everyone. Enjoy the drawings.